So for this project, you'll need hair bundles. One to two bundles is more than enough. A glue gun, glue sticks, and a hat of your choice. I prefer baseball style hats. And we can go ahead and get started. What you'll need to do is flip your hat inside out and put it on your mannequin's head. Um, if you're wondering what that white stuff is on the cap, that is hard glue from a previous wig that I made. Um, I just removed the tracks off of this one and I'm going to redo it this time with uh, body wave hair. At first, I used short curly hair. Um, and what you do is it's fairly easy. You will go ahead and measure your tracks from side to side, from the front of the hat to the back of the hat, and insert your glue and stick it onto the hat. Um, this is very quick and easy and great for bad hair days. This is literally a throw on and go wig. Now, I do not suggest that you will need to put any tracks on the adjustable straps in the back of the cap. Um, just because I usually have to adjust my straps all of the time. So if you glue tracks on there, then you won't be able to adjust the cap. But if you feel like you do not need to adjust your cap, or you just want to glue the tracks on the adjustable straps, you definitely can. I just don't. Um, also, what we'll do here is with this wig, it can become very inexpensive. Most of the items you probably already have laying around in your house anyway. Um, and if you do need to buy bundles, you only need two at the most and you can find some pretty good quality bundles, fairly cheap on Amazon if you need to. Um, I just used some bundles that I already had laying around the house that I used from previous wigs. Um, well, I'm sorry, that I did not use from previous wigs that I made. And I had a few loose tracks around the house and that's just what I used. Um, but the bundles that I am using did come from Amazon as well. Um, so... Amazon do have some good quality hair. If you do search around, you will be able to find some good ones. Um, after that, I would say I wouldn't go buy top of the line bundles for this. Um, if you need to remake the hat, you can always redo it if you need to, like I did. Um, or you can buy a new hat. You don't have to take the tracks off of this one like I did. I don't know if that's ratchet or not, but if it is, I'm sorry. I just didn't have another hat at the time that I could use. So, And I just wanted an updated wig instead of using the short curly hair. So I just took the tracks off this one and reused the hat. Save a little money, I guess, if you want to. Um, so here, I'm showing you where now I'm above the adjustable straps so I no longer need to cut the tracks right there where at the end of the adjustable straps so the tracks will now be longer um, because I don't have to go over the adjustable straps anymore so there you go if you take a look at that yeah so that's that's pretty much it there so going it's pretty much repetitive after this that's why i did speed up the video you're just gonna go from one side of the the hat to the other side and that is it i'm telling you all this is so easy it takes maybe 40 minutes to an hour it shouldn't take no longer than an hour to do something like this um to me i just love it it's, it's literally throw on and go and they're easy to make. I wouldn't personally pay anyone to um, for a hat wig because they're so easy and inexpensive to make. But if you want to, there are a lot of people who do sell hat wigs, especially on Amazon. I do think Amazon has more synthetic wigs, uh, wig hats. My I prefer human hair so that I can curl it if I want to uh, which at the end of this video you will see and uh, I will show you how I did end up curling the hair towards the end I just like curls I'm not really a straight hair girl I love curls so I, I like to be able to curl it up when I, I want to um, I like big curls loose curls waves all of that I don't really wear my hair straight not too often um, but anyway, Amazon do have some if you would like to buy them. They they mostly, from what I've seen, they range from maybe $40 to $60. Um, some I saw, I did see a few for $25, but 
which were um, like the real cheap synthetic hair. But if you already have these items laying around in your house, hey, why not just go ahead and <laughs> just make your own? You probably will come out cheaper anyway because you don't have to buy anything. After that, um, you can put as much hair as on the head if you, as you want to. Um, I usually stop at the X on my head, which I will show you in the video somewhere here. Um, there's an X on the top of all of my heads that I purchased. There's an X at the top, um, and that's usually where I stop it. It's just kind of a mark for me to know that's just how much hair I like on there. But if you would like to go all the way up to the rim of the hat, you surely can. Um, it'll just be more hair for you. It'll, it'll make it thicker for you if you want it thicker. And you can customize it how you want to. Make it thicker or thinner. E either way is fine. And there we go. I'm pointing at the X right there on the hat. That is where I stop it. That's where I end my track set. And I'll go ahead and I'm almost through here. So I'll go ahead and show you next what products I do use when I get ready to curl my hair. And also, if you guys like my videos, please go ahead and comment and subscribe and like my video if you like them. I'm working on trying to bring good quality videos. Right now, I'm recording off my iPhone. <laughs> That's all I have. And I have a small ring light here. Um, and I'm just working with what I got right now. I don't want to spend too much money on these items if I don't have to. Um, until, you know, I get better at recording. And, yeah, that'll be that on that <laughs> for right now. Um, also, let's see. So I'm almost through laying the tracks on the cap. Uh, the next portions of the video, I will be trying on the wig cap and also curling the hair. So I'll show you all how I do that towards the end of the video. We're getting close, sis. We're almost there. Um, also, excuse my mannequin head. Y'all, look, I make a lot of wigs. So it looks a little beat up and dirty and ratchet looking. But I promise you, it's just product buildup, gel, hair, hair mousse, water, glue, everything that you use with a wig um so i'm probably gonna buy me a new one there's really nothing wrong with it maybe i can try to clean it clean it up a little bit but that's all that's on it is product but listen sis if you thought the headband wig was quick and easy baby this is even easier i'm talking about i don't have to lay down my edges with any gel or anything i don't have to glue this on i don't have to find a cute headband i literally just throw this on and go i do curl my wigs um so i guess that will take some time but the good thing is with my curls they usually last four to five days so once i curl it once the next four to five days i'm literally just throwing this wig on and going out the house and running those errands um but if you like straight hair, you don't even have to curl it. You can get you some good straight hair and literally throw this wig on, go run them errands, and come on back to the house um, and go from there if you want to. Or you can just wear it around the house if you want to on a bad hair day. It's up to you. It's really, really easy. It's really, really quick really simple it's one of those wigs like i said about the headband wig you need at least one in your stash just one sis just one just have you one hat wig and one of those headband wigs and you won't have any more bad hair days i promise you sis i promise you that but anyway, y'all, I will be trying on this wig at the end here, um, as you can see, and I'm curling it. I'm going to insert a picture, too, at the end of the video. Thank you all so much for watching, Divas. Enjoy. And if you made one of these hat wigs, let me know how it turned out. Did you like it? Was it easy to make? Did you have any problems? I would love for you to share it in the comments section. So hit me up in the comments and let me know. Thank you.